Welcome to part two of the B80 Mothership Quick Start Video Manual for the BMB4 motherboard with Wave Sound Grid. In part two, we will cover how to get set up with Wave Sound Grid. Now that we've installed our daughter cards and racked up our mothership with proper ventilation, let's go through the simple setup for Wave Sound Grid Studio and get to work. You will need the B80 Mothership with BMB4 Wave Sound Grid motherboard, Wave Central and Wave Sound Grid Studio. Cat5e, Cat6, or Cat7 Ethernet cable. A gigabit Ethernet switch, which is actually optional. You can connect the BMB4 directly to your host computer. For a complete list of Waves supported Ethernet switches, you can go to their website. Also, if you want, you can add the Wave Sound Grid server to the network to utilize the power of the Waves plugin platform. Download and install Wave Central. First, let's go to waves.com backslash downloads backslash central. Once you've installed Wave Central, launch the application and log in. If you need an account, create one. Install the BMB4 SoundGrid motherboard driver. Inside Wave Central, select Install Products, then select Online. Click on All Waves Products at the top of the page and search for BMB4 SoundGrid motherboard driver and select. Click Install. Once installation is complete, restart your computer. Note, installing the BMB4 SoundGrid motherboard driver will also install Wave SoundGrid Studio, which we will use to configure the I.O. of the BMB4. Also, all B80 BMB4 devices must be assigned to a host application. This is done within the application. Assignment is similar but not identical in all SoundGrid host applications. In this example, the B80 BMB4 Mothership will be assigned to SoundGrid Studio. For more information on SoundGrid Studio, go to the website listed on your screen. Next, disconnect all other devices from your gigabit switch. Remember, if you aren't connecting more than one device to your network, you can connect the BMB4 directly to your computer. If you are not using a switch, skip ahead to step 2.6 on page 7 of your Quick Start Guide. Now let's connect the BMB4 motherboard to the switch using Cat5e, Cat6, or Cat7 Ethernet cable. Connect your computer's Ethernet port to the switch. Set the BMB4 front panel clock control to internal, external, or sound grid. I'm going to set this to internal, which is preferred, so I can use the clock on the BMB4. If you are using an external clock, set the BMB4 to external. And if you are using SoundGrid as the main clock source, set the BMB4 to SoundGrid. When set to internal, press the sample rate button to toggle through your sample rates like so. In SoundGrid Studio, let's click on Network Port to make sure we have selected the correct Ethernet port. In this case, I'm using EN0. Assign BMB4 to the host application. Open SoundGrid Studio application. Select the Setup window. Choose the System Inventory tab. This is where we can assign our devices. If the B80 BMB4 is not already assigned to the SoundGrid host, click on the arrow in an empty device slot. Choose BMB4 Motherboard 1 from the drop-down menu. Now I'm going to repeat this step to assign my computer to Rack B for software I.O. devices. In order to transmit audio throughout the SoundGrid network, I have to assign the mothership inputs and outputs to the SoundGrid ASIO core audio driver. All devices and driver channels are shown along the horizontal and vertical axis in the patch tab. For most practical mothership configurations, the auto configure button makes the process incredibly easy. I'll take you through the specific details now so you can understand how to manually configure I.O. for the Wave SoundGrid Studio Network. Input Assignment Let's start by patching Channel 1 from the BMB4 SoundGrid driver to Channel 1. This will assign B80 Input Channel 1 to SoundGrid Channel 1. Select the Patch window. Select Device to Device on the left down here. Next, I'm going to maximize my DAW 
In this example, my computer is named Williams MacBook Pro. Now I'll maximize BMB4 Motherboard 1, which is in Bank A, Slot 1. I'm going to find where the Mothership Channel 1 intersects with my DAW Channel 1 and click. And now, by simply clicking here on Channel 1, I can drag down to the right to enable all my inputs. In this case, I'll enable 16, but of course you can enable all 64 if you like. Output Assignment From the patch window, I still have device to device selected here, and now I'm going to maximize BMB4 Motherboard 1 here. Next, maximize Bank B Slot 1, which is my computer. Here you can see where Output 1 from the DAW connects to Output 1 of the Mothership. Click on Channel 1 and drag diagonally down to the right until you have 16 channels for this example. Please note that when using Pro Tools with the Wave Sound Grid Playback Engine, you are limited to 32 I.O. BMB4 Clocking Once I have all my inputs and outputs routed correctly, we want to make sure that the clocking is all set for our system. In this first example, I'll cover the mothership clocking internally, then I'll go through external and sound grid clocking. Clocking the BMB4 to internal word clock. Set the BMB4 to internal. Push the sample rate button on the BMB4 to toggle to the desired sample rate. Open SoundGrid Studio, select Setup. Set SoundGrid sample rate to slave. In SoundGrid Studio, open the Mothership GUI by clicking on the gearbox in the lower left corner. Set source to B80 control. SoundGrid Studio and GUI sample rates should both change to follow the B80. Clocking the BMB4 to external word clock. Set the BMB4 clock source to external. Connect an external clock to word clock in. Open SoundGrid Studio and select Setup. Set SoundGrid sample rate to slave. In SoundGrid Studio, open the Mothership GUI by clicking on the gear box in the lower left corner. Set source to B80 control. SoundGrid Studio and the GUI sample rate should both change to follow the external clock source. Clocking the BMB4 to SoundGrid. Set the BMB4 clock control to SoundGrid. Open SoundGrid Studio and select Setup. Set SoundGrid sample rate to Master. In SoundGrid Studio, open the Mothership GUI by clicking on the gearbox in the lower left corner. Set your source to SoundGrid Internal. B80 Mothership and GUI sample rate should both change to follow SoundGrid sample rate. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please go to burlaudio.com or email info at burlaudio.com.